Welcome to the first video of understanding tuning. While I started a tuning guide for Speeduino ECUs a couple of months back, which is now in progress and uh, is now at a stage where you basically can tune a NA car fully with the help of that guide. There are still people around that ask me questions like how much AFR is okay for much in my engine or what lambda or AFR value is okay in what state or in what load state. And today I want to explain what AFR is or what lambda is and where or how the values should look like depending on your engine configuration. First of all, what is AFR? AFR is basically the air-fuel mixture, uh, so it means air-fuel ratio, which kind of makes sense, AFR, air-fuel ratio. And this defines the ratio for fuel and air. So, for example, if you had a AFR value of 12 to 1, then that would be 12 parts of air to one part of fuel. So that's pretty easy to know. And there are a couple of values that you need to know, or rather one specific value that is very important, which is the stoichiometric ratio. Stoichiometric means it is the point where the air fuel mixture burns the best or the cleanest and the most optimal for power, in theory that is. The stoichiometric ratio for normal gasoline is an AFR ratio of 14.7 to 1 which converts to lambda 1. So lambda is basically from 1.0 which is stoichiometric and then going down is richer. Uh, so lambda 0.95 for example is about AFR 14 and therefore only 14 parts of air and one part of fuel instead of 14.7 parts of air and one part of fuel for stoichiometric. And the other way around of course is leaner. So that means there is less fuel and more air involved. Although the AFR value only shows you basically the volume of air getting lower or rather that is actually by weight. So having determined that while well, there are a lot of values or there's a wide range of air fuel ratios that your engine could run at. While any engine might be able to run at a range from AFR 10 to AFR 16, let's say at idle. It's not optimal for an engine either to run at 10 or at 16, no matter if it's idle or load usually. Determining where what fuel ratio or what air fuel ratio is uh, needed is very very important and this is where we are going to look into tuner studio and we're going to open a air fuel ratio target table this basically on any ecu defines what you wish your ecu to be at while in specific states so in specific load states for example if I put my cursor here, that would be 100 kPa, so no boost, but wide open throttle at 3800 RPM. And then I would desire a air fuel ratio of 12.9. In most ECUs, you also have the possibility to use the same thing, but as a lambda target table, which is the same thing, just shows lambda values instead of AFR values. But I would suggest it is easier to if you, for example, learn it the first time, look at AFR values because you can see the lower the number is, the more fuel you are going to use or the less air, let's say it that way. And as you can see, the higher we go into the load axis, so on the left side, which is 100, which would be atmospherical or thereabouts, depending on where you live, how, what your altitude is, and Above that is in boost, 0.26 bar, 0.5 bar, 0.76 bar, or one bar. I have for some reason 0.26, but that doesn't matter for right now. And you see that my target is getting more rich. So I want more fuel, the more um, air I give into the engine, or I, the more air I put into the engine. While in theory, yes, an engine would develop more power if the mixture was leaner. So in theory, an engine would 
be at its optimum at about lambda one or a bit richer than that because under full load the burning process is most efficient at about an AFR value of 14. But why do you want it to be richer? That's pretty easy. Burning at AFR 14 or 14.7 is getting pretty hot and that's in most cases too hot for most engines to first of all function correctly so that exhaust valves or pistons don't burn a hole through them or second of all the knock characteristics of the engine aren't changed negatively so some engines just desire a more rich mixture and um, due to that rich rich mixture they tend to knock much less what knock is i'm going to also explain in a later video where i go into that topic deeper you just gotta know for example on an na engine which is reaching a maximum of around 100 kpa you want to be looking at an AFR value of about somewhere between 13 at 12.5. This depends also on the engine. Some engines like it a bit richer, some engines like it a bit leaner. You might get an engine that produces its maximum power even at AFR 12, but usually 12.5 is fine. The reason why I go a bit richer with more RPM is because obviously there are more explosions in the engine happening and therefore there's also more heat in the engine and because adding fuel is cooling the or is cooling down the burning process um, you want to go a bit richer in the higher rpms but it's not by that much so you can see i'm only going from 12.8 to 12.5 or 11.8 to 11.5 you could also measure exhaust gas temperature and see if you even need to be that rich but um for a application where you don't have that it's better to run on the safer side on a boosted application this can vary quite a lot while when you are on lower boost settings such as like here 0.5 bar you may even be able to run somewhere around the afr 12.5 range if your engine was previously turbocharged then sometimes these engines run relatively lean and if they have egt monitoring built in they automatically on a stock ecu for example richen up the mixture and if you don't have that i would just go for at least afr 12 and most of the engines stock that don't have egt monitoring such as older turbo engines they actually go really really rich and even much richer than i am in this table they even go into the afr 10s which is not really needed. As you can see at one bar of boost, I am targeting AFR 11.5, which usually is enough. But if you go higher in boost levels, some engines might require even more boost, especially if you have an engine that does not have oil squirters, so that uh, squirt oil into the bottom of the pistons. Because the piston temperatures get relatively hot, these engines tend to like it if you go a bit richer within the mixture so that the knock tendency is lowered quite a bit. Because again, fuel is lowering the combustion temperature and therefore decreasing the risk of knock. But here you also don't wanna go overboard because too rich of a mixture can cause, um, first of all, loss of power. Second, there is the possibility that the spark plug or the spark cannot ignite the mixture anymore. And the last reason for it is that it can happen that it washes away the oil film on the cylinder walls that is put down there to by the basically piston rings. And if you run a really, really rich mixture, that fuel, because it is a solving agent, it will wash away that oil film and then you might get some scars in the cylinder walls which you don't want for obvious reasons. So keep it as rich as it needs to be but don't go overboard. Also it's bad for your fuel consumption the more fuel you're going to use but I think that's kind of obvious. In the other end of the spectrum when at part throttle uh, we are targeting usually lambda 1 or AFR 14.7. 
A lot of people tend to say, well, you can go a bit leaner and save some fuel, although for the beginning, if you are tuning your car for first for the first time, I would suggest just keep it at lambda 1 or 14.7 in around that area. And when going into the atmospheric zone, just richen up a bit. It's also a good idea if you are tuning for the first time, leave your idle a bit richer because most of the cars tend to run a bit better at AFR 14 rather than AFR 14.7. So that's important to know. And um, yeah, so the idle is going to be a bit more stable and not as affected or as heavily affected by giving it uh, throttle impulses when you start tuning and the car won't shut off as easily. Coming back to the part throttle, again, as I said, you can lean it out a bit if you, for example, have a bit experience. Then some engines even like to run at 15.5 to 16, although that's actually already quite lean. Um, usually the sweet spot for fuel saving is about 15.2 to 15.5. That's where the engines tend to <coughs> fall off in power quite, quite drastically. And then you are not saving fuel by uh, leaning out the mixture because you have to add more load into the engine and then automatically are injecting more, more fuel so that doesn't make sense you are uh, pulling away efficiency from the engine and that's obviously not good for fuel consumption that's basically so much for afr and explained why afr is so important and that is one of the two most critical things you have to watch out for on a car that is being tuned it is afr so the fueling and it is knock. Knock can also be very, very bad, which I'm going to show you in a future video. That's all for now. I wish you a nice day and goodbye.